In the red corner, 2011 Corvette ZR1. Three thousand three hundred and twenty nine pounds, six hundred and thirty eight horsepower, six hundred and four pound feet of torque. Front engine, rear wheel drive. In the white corner, the two thousand and eleven Porsche nine eleven turbo. Thirty five hundred pounds, four hundred eighty pound feet of torque, five hundred horsepower, rear engine, all wheel drive. Let's see how they do across one thousand three hundred and twenty feet of asphalt. Well, that's interesting. Let's see that again. Three, two, one, go. With seven pounds per horsepower compared to the Corvette's significantly lighter 5.2 pounds per horsepower, why does the 911 jump out to such an early lead? The answer, traction. The Corvette is fast, taking just 3.5 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. However, the Porsche is super fast, doing the deed in three seconds flat. In fact, that's the fastest manual transmission car we've ever tested. At 100 miles an hour, the Porsche is still half a second ahead of the Corvette. Amazing. However, by the end, the Corvette is gaining rapidly. In fact, its trap speed is two miles per hour faster than the Porsche's, meaning that if the race was a little bit longer than a quarter mile, the Corvette would have won. However, it didn't. The Porsche beats the ZR1 by three and a half car lengths. 